Following in the footsteps of the beloved Sam Howell at North Carolina, Drake May quickly embraced the spotlight and thrived under center for the Tar Heels. Now, May heads to the NFL in contention to be the top overall selection come April. How does his game compare to the other top passers in this class? We try to answer that on this Two Minute Drill. May is a quick-footed pocket passer who has the arm malleability to angle throws as needed to where once refined, he should be capable of picking apart NFL defenses all the way from underneath to around 15 yards downfield. His throwing motion is quick and clean with an already NFL-made frame that should keep him confident standing in the pocket and firing passes. May's arm talent is especially notable with how well he places throws downfield both in and out of structure. Each and every game you turn on of the Tar Heels, you'd be remiss not to come away with numerous plays that are passes only those in the upper echelon of NFL passers can make, and often needed additional polish to make them consistently. But more than just a big arm, what makes May so impressive is that he routinely hits windows between numerous defenders with great touch and placement so that only his receiver is able to get it. On top of that, May is highly effective at attacking the middle of the field, a strong detriment to if a quarterback is capable of translating their production over to the next level. With his recognition ability and velocity when firing, it makes that jump seem safer for May than most seem to indicate. However, reeling it in with decision making will be a critical part of his pro success, because May has a tendency to try for the big play by either holding onto the ball too long or firing into a congested area, leaving him prone to turnovers. Additionally, May had slumps at the college level, which can be a red flag for evaluators, because confidence is key to NFL development, and if he loses his, it could become a downhill slope into becoming a bust at the next level. For an NFL comparison, I'm rolling with the commonly used Justin Herbert of the Los Angeles Chargers. While the two had different offensive systems in college, the skill set and demeanor are very similar on the field. Herbert has been a fantastic quarterback in the NFL thanks to his mix of arm talent, decision making, and playmaking ability, and for whatever team drafts May, they should be looking at Herbert's film from early on as a blueprint for how to go about finding success for May early on in his career as well. As far as NFL draft range, I think May holds on to be one of the top two quarterbacks picked, but if he does fall behind someone, then his absolute lowest range seems to still be within the top 10. May has the tools that NFL teams have coveted more than ever, but on top of that upside, he has plenty of pro-ready traits that make him one of the top options without question for me. So if you're an NFL team desperate to find your next face of the franchise under center, then you may have just found your guy. And that's the two-minute drill.